scratch the paint. Ma'am, I'm just anything I can help you with. I understand that. I'm not blaming you directly. Dr. Salvato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year now, Doctor. And in that year, how many times have we had this conversation about late or missing shipments of supplies? I believe this is the third time. Yes, that sounds right. Three times. I will be making it very clear to your superiors that lives are at stake. And the clinic requires reliable transport. If your company cannot meet our needs, someone else will. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, understood. Thank you, Dr. Salvato. You may return to your duties. Between you and me, this place sees some weird cases. Gross ones, too. Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? Yeah, the Marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead, pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. How you doing, old man? Well, I'll be a Dust Wrangler's cousin. Sam Coe. Oh, it's been too damn long. Why, Cora must be, what, nine, ten years old by now? <laughs> I wish. She's twelve. <sighs> Almost a teenager? My goodness. And here I thought I had enough gray hairs already. So, are you back? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I'm just out here to watch the deputies back and see what kind of trouble we can get into. I see. Well, back to the matter at hand, then. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Well, every ranger knows it's important to trust your instincts. No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> You can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. But just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the council of governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here. And I ain't fond of them right back. Bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's Hello. about the only one I can have a conversation with. Now, hey there, Ari. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? How does she well, the deputy in here the do some help. Myself. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. I'll take your word for it. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier, huh? Uh, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad, the thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? That should help narrow things down. I can access the patient records from my terminal, assuming the database cooperates. Come on.
A couple of years on duty here, and anyone would be qualified to run any other hospital in the settled systems. This place is a far cry okay. from the Okay, give me just a minute. That's for sure. Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace... What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but... It's a start. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. We get the cases no one has ever seen before. Yes. What do you want? I'm sorry, but we don't permit unscheduled visitors to that area. You'll need to ask whoever it is that you wish to visit to make arrangements with me. Who exactly are you? You could be Solomon Cole himself, and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules. No exceptions. There's no progress that bureaucracy can't ruin. Oh, I wasn't aware. I suppose if I can't trust a colleague, then I can't trust anyone. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this. a bit of a legend in the medical field.
If they haven't rushed me back, means it can't be that bad.
Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. What? Leaving already. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. But how about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. <sighs> I've been abused or abandoned by everyone I ever got close to. Gave up on people and put my faith in machines instead. It wasn't until I came to the First Cavalry and met Major Hull that I felt I could trust someone again. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Right, come drop. Who doesn't like loot, am I right?
for a sidearm. Be hard work, but it sure beats living under the boot. Hey there, deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. Better this than being some dust wrangler on one.
Lightning strikes prime. Red first fire. Think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. I, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough, Stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. Fame and fortune await. You better watch it. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. Wonderful. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Yeah, well, you're here now, so we'll just have to make it work. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me. Okay. Hello. I can't think of the next time I'm gonna live up to my legacy. No one's ever come close. Is that Donovan Reese? Damn. Guy's a legend. He's run the mile more than anyone alive. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? Is that so? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. And he started moving in on my territory.
Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. All right. It's your call to make. Plan this out real good, didn't you, Jade? The Freestar Rangers do the dirty work, and you get rid of a rival. Don't forget the part where the Freestar Rangers get to bring down a big-time criminal while your deputy friend here gets intel on the first. Seems to me like we're all getting something we want, thanks to my good planning. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? Hey, really good going to, see to take you. on the mile, huh? Here to pass you, my boy. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life. My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Well, of course you are. How could you miss hearing about the Settled System's most exciting sporting event? Why even people from the most backwood systems like Seoul have heard of the Red Mile? <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? Yes, this is not unknown to me. His association with the first is troubling, to say the least, and that trouble could find its way here. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll be Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. That means you've prepared yourself for what lies ahead. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. I'm afraid not. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to place substantial wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. I wish I shared your optimism. The mile's very real. Now that we're clear, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Oh, my God. 
the Red Mile. Now is your chance to get a good look at our fearless challenger as you contemplate your wages. Do you see the fire in those eyes? What is that if not stealing determination? I think you'll agree that we're in for quite a show. The rules are simple. Go through the door and take the elevator down to where the mile begins. Activate the beacon at the base of the tower you see in the distance. Once you've done so, return here alive and your run will be complete. Go now, brother, and see if you can survive the mile! Victor goes the spoils. I said that right, right?
factories keep churning. Well, they're reliable that way. We're either being brave or very, very stupid. Well, that should be the tagline for the Red Mile.
understood why anyone would volunteer. We're doing this? I can't believe we're doing this. Let's, uh, let's not tell Cora about this, all right? Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. You mean consequences like how you and your bloody... A pleasure. Congratulations, runner. To challenge the... Mi <laughs> I'm not easily impressed. But you've managed to surprise me. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Are you... okay? Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated, or you're just that good. <sighs> anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the Rock and let the Marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, Deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. I'll go to hell. Or at least, make yourself useful and get us some drinks. You must be tougher than you look. I've seen you run. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Only that someone wanted a meeting. Don't expect to catch him unprepared. He keeps a sizable force of mercenaries aboard his ship as bodyguards. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you. Well.
tell Cora we're back. Uh, then you're here when you got a moment. I'm up for a little adventure. Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, well, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. Well, that statement's gonna keep me up at night, like everything, everything. Just so you know, there's a long, uh, proud tradition of singing in the shower. Ah, Lillian, she's an incredible woman, truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. Yeah, I'm meant to be on my own, exploring the great beyond. It calls to me. Maybe it's Solomon saying hello. But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. She so tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. Eh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I told her what you told me, that Cora is just blossoming with all this. With Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. Nah, don't be. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. If I do that, you all might want to invest in some industrial strength earplugs. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy.
music is gonna put me to sleep. Marco's done well for himself. Sure, I might say too well. I mean, I would say that at least. Why don't we have a room like this? Just full of knock-your-socks-off trophies. You know, really flaunt our success. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent the deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. This deputy might just surprise you, Marco. And who might you be? The name's Sam Coe. A name well known across the Freestar Collective. It's an honor to welcome a descendant of the great Solomon Coe. Yeah, well, that name probably means more to you than it does to me. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. Assuming we all keep our heads. That's right. Major Hall spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. To settle accounts, Major Hall served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt council of governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. I prefer to focus on the future. I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who will kill you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction, in exchange. I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Good. Then we are agreed. I won't pretend that I agree with this, but it's your call. It'd be a shame if an encrypted slate like this one somehow got into the wrong hands. Wouldn't it? Now. Before you complain, remember that all I promised was to point you in the right direction. You're free to stay as long as you like. It's not often I get to entertain such a distinguished guest. You need something?
Keep your sidearm handy. Parts of town can get rough. says I spent too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then boom! Down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because, let me tell you, I am so close. Who, me? Without you? Not a chance, deputy. I knew you were a natural the moment I laid eyes on you. I'm proud to be helping the Freestar Rangers. 